You're cooking a chocolate cake. Bite skating. Okay, so we got half a cup of Crisco. I'm not doing nothing. She was watching a movie we watched Dancing with the Stars. Bring this over two sticks of butter. Do it in. You got your pan? It's like, golly, it's heavy. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a weird scrambled egg with a lot to, of... Don't you... mistake this for icing. You're the whole it. lot of butter in it. Okay, so we had a half cup of crisp. How much flour? Three cups, Three cups. plain you... flour. Read what it says. Cream, butter, Crisco, and sugar. Not flour, sugar. Cream, butter, Crisco, and sugar together. Add eggs one at a time until five have been added. Oh, okay. Added. Yeah, so it looks eggs. like. Looks like eggs. In a cup. Or like applesauce. Okay. See. She had like this? No. Can you eat it like this? No. Probably. Technically, well, everything's yeah. edible once. That's how I'm TikTok. Get me. Yeah. Why, when you're baking, does it look so gross? And then when you put all the stuff together, it looks fine. Yeah. Are you going by the directions? Yes, I'm fixing to put the eggs in. Make sure you don't catch. So, give me the. Oh. Put the mixer thing. Not yet. One. Mix them up now. One at a time. So where's mix the little mixer thing? I just hand mix it. Aren't they there? Yeah. Yeah, there. Is this in here? Honey, I can't. There they are. Yeah. Still. I washed everything. I hope that's the ones. You get two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch enough cooking shows to know you have to go by the direction. Okay. Nothing will ever turn out right. No. Yeah. What is it? Oh. You turn it on low and it's. You done put sugar in there? Yes. No. Huh? Yeah. Crisco and sugar together. Add eggs one at a time. time. Alright. Now here's some dry ingredients. Oh. Uh, uh, flour. How much flour? Wait a minute. Three uh, cups of flour. Cup one. Cup two. Teaspoon of salt. Here's the finishing. Cook. Spoons. Spoons. Let's just eyeball it. They do that on TV all the time. This is like a tablespoon. No. Like tablespoon or teaspoon? teaspoon. I'm eyeballing salt. Absolutely. I'm basically Rachel Ray. Shows to know. I didn't know. I thought we could just trust my eyeballing skills. Oh, uh, I'll just take a pinch and then. At least. That's good. It says flour, cocoa. We did the flour and the salt. We need the cocoa. The cocoa, cocoa, cocoa is cocoa. a one half cup. Uh, oh, hey, all right. Pour flour, yeah. cocoa, baking powder, and salt. Add dry ingredients. Alternately, alternately, yeah. With you know milk what alternately is? And flavoring. Mm -hmm. so like milk flavoring. Honey, if they've been <laughs> open, they've been all the same. One cup milk. Oh, one it. tablespoon vanilla. We get to eyeball again. You know what alternate alternate meal? Mm -hmm. I need after you get it mixed. One up. tablespoon. Get to what alternately. Look at what I found. <laughs> she just found our mixing spoon. Or our measuring spoons. We already eyeballed. Baking soda I and the salt. Rises. I hope it rises. We found, of course we're gonna find them after we then eyeball stuff. Okay, are you supposed to mix the dry ingredients together before you put them in with the wet ingredients? I've been left alone with the case. I'm in charge. But if this messes up, then I'm not in charge. What do dry ingredients look like? And then we're gonna add them to the wet ingredients. Okay, there's no like high angle to film at, so I have to like squat. Let me help you get it around the size. I'm gonna get it all. One tablespoon. And it's got everything in here, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Remember one time, didn't we make a cake without the sugar or something? Talking a bit, but it ain't. Yeah. 
Yeah, we don't want to over All right. mix. Cause Nobody wants, wants to dry it. cake. This is pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna be putting the dry ingredients for the icing. There's only three dry ingredients. Butter, brown sugar, and a cocoa powder. Oh. I'm built different. You have to kind of take care of yourself. I just put all the dry ingredients into the pot. We're not gonna do anything else until the cake is almost done in the oven, which is 11.15, so we have about 45-ish minutes left. Okay, it's been like 55 minutes. It's getting the cake out of the oven. All right, we're gonna have to add. One half cup canned milk. This is the best part, so the icing can drip all the way through the bottom of the yes. cake. It may not work like we think it does. Mm -hmm. So we'll have this chocolate cake for Thanksgiving. We will have lemon. I don't eat the lemon, but this is my finished holy cake. Crushed it. So we think the icing will drip through the holes. Mm. Well, I mean, I cut a hole right there. I'm pouring the icing on the cake. This is the best part. I think it's all good. It's still <laughs> bubbling. This is what you call a crumb coat. Not really, since this is, this is only gonna be the, the one coat. Okay, we need a little bit more over here. But I'll... Gosh, the icing is still like bubbling hot on the cake. And knowing what I know from cooking shows, we probably should have let it sit for a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be us. No one really cares, as long as it tastes good. This is some relative icing that we eat, mm. that me and Ginger eat. Mm. 